Welcome Capricorn, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of July the 22nd to the 29th. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing to these videos. When you do subscribe, please click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these go out on YouTube to be viewed. Also, you'll get notified when I go out live on Google Hangouts to give out uh, messages to those that want to join me in the chat room. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Capricorn out there on the planet. But some of it will with some of you, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. Again, I tell you, if you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, then I invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you right into my website. All the other information is posted below that you need to find me. Uh, my email and my website is also posted there. Okay, my beautiful Capricorns, my beautiful achievers, my thinkers, my creative people. This is your reading for the week of July the 22nd. All right, let's see what our all over energy here. What is going on here? Duality. Okay, I see that someone, you know, is coming into your life. Some of you have a lover. You're going to find a lover. You're, this is all about intimate relationships and things going well for you in that department. Being happy with someone else, your soulmate, your twin flame. You do have to be careful, though, and weigh your options and your decisions when you do anything now on your path on this next stage of your journey, Capricorn, because you can't just do things on your own without, uh, you know, c having communication with another person. Now, this shows me also that, you know, when we're with someone like that, you'll find that you have to be, you have to negotiate, you have to cooperate, and you have to adapt to situations that bring you fulfillment when you're dealing in a relationship uh, with someone else. This is also the card of good health. So some of you that have been suffering uh, and going through some challenges with your health, it will improve. Or someone close to you, perhaps your soulmate, your twin flame, your lover, or someone on an emotional level in your life, it will be the improvement of good health. This is what it signifies, but it also signifies intimate and beautiful, lasting relationships. Okay. Uh, moving on, you have the sun. Wow, amazing. Uh, you know, the sun and the star, the two best cards in the deck, and this is all about a happy outcome, being able to move forward on this next stage of your journey, on your path, and being able to put, you know, give birth to your dreams, moving into uh, your goals, uh, leaning into prosperity and abundance, and filling your cups. This is about having confidence now in yourself, knowing that you've accomplished things and that you're continuing to grow and and expand so I do see that you're coming up with all these fantastic ideas brilliant ideas that are going to lead you to your success this is all about a happy outcome crowning your week you've been given the queen of earth this is the queen of pentacles she's the queen that knows how to set out and find her prosperity find her abundance and and when it comes to business and work uh, some of you may be stepping out and opening your own business whether it's a brick and mortar uh business uh you know or whether it's an internet business or uh, whatever kind of business you're deciding to start out with it will be successful this is dealing with any challenges right now with anybody around you she's like she's the ability to look to towards her court and realize when she puts her head down to lean into prosperity and find her financial situation improving. She deals with people on a kinder, more understanding manner. You know, I always say you can convince people and sell people with, you know, with kindness rather kill them with kindness, smile at them, be nice to them. And, uh, you know, you'll tap into, uh, you know, their core and be able to bring them in to your fold, into your circle, and convince them what it is you do has credibility and integrity, and, and integrity, and you know benefit. And uh, this is how you will pr prosper here and make more money. This is about being thoughtful and sensible at the same time. So you know this is how I want you to deal with any uh, you know problems on your path or uh, challenges uh, this week. Do it in a kinder, more understanding manner. Okay. 
and you will be making time for people around you. I do see, you know, with this, <clears throat> with this Queen of Pentacles, she has the ability, like I say, to tap in and communicate to to uh, make things work out in her favor. So I do see you will be communicating on that type of uh, situation emotionally, uh, and uh, you know, in a kinder, more understanding manner. This is all about you leaning into finding out yourself on your path, and uh, you know, working hard towards your goals to receive this. Uh, abundance coming into you financially for some of you. Now the end of the week you've been given the nine of air which is the nine of swords and this is getting up in your head losing sleep worrying about a situation perhaps it's a legal issue perhaps it's a finance issue perhaps you're waiting for a settlement some money to come in um, but whatever it is um, you know what it, you can't lose your sleep and expect the worst out of this you need to get your rest that's what this is all about. <clears throat> The Nine of Swords is, you know, worrying about the worst that's going to happen. The Ten of Swords, it's over. You've already had dealt with those issues. But the Nine of Swords is you thinking about having those Ten Swords stabbed in your back and not being able to get up and move forward and, and be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you can do this. Again, I'll show you the graphics on this card. I always like to show it. You're the only one that's up losing your rest. Everybody else that's, that is around you that perhaps is also involved in this phase or situation you're dealing with, they're not losing a blink. They're going to bed with a clear mind and everything's going to work out. This is what you need to do, okay? If you have any challenges that you need to um, <clears throat> step up on, if it's anything to do with being judged or having to a witness or say something and speak your truth, if it's being up on your platform, if it's, you know, dealing with uh, illegal issues, know that you need to be balanced. So please get your rest. Realize everybody else out there isn't as concerned as you are, so why should you take on other people's burdens, okay? Let those burdens go, dear Capricorn. Things will work out in your favor. I know you've been to, here we go into the Lennerman uh, Oracle messages. Yes, you've had storms to deal with, challenges to deal with, you know? It's been, uh, it's been tumultuous, tumultuous, tumultuous. Anyway, I'll get it out. You know what I mean. It's been rough on you. So the sun's going to shine again, Capricorn. You can see that the sun's going to shine. Things are going to improve. If you've been dealing with a house issue, the settlement of a home, uh, if it had to do with a legal issue like that, know that you're going to find security. You're going to be fine. I do see that you're, you're becoming more realistic and you're thinking and you're being more practical and self-reliant. You will be able to see the foundation being put down again and have a roof over your head and be secure. I, you know, this is, um, you know, being being secure with, with your home. But it's also about you, you know, using a negative situation and turning it around to, uh, to your advantage. So please know that you will have a firm foundation again. You will have a home. You will be secure. Some of you may be buying and moving to a new home. The only thing you have to be concerned about is this snake. This snake has the ability to sneak in, slither in, almost silently. You don't even know he or she's there. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> they step forward and they're venomous and they snap. All you, they, they have a short fuse, they have a short temper, and often they have ability to strike out. And they're toxic. So this is the kind of individual you just need to watch out for. Some of you may already know this individual. You may be dealing with that energy around you now, but you're learning. You're learning. Things are going to work out in your favor. I think a settlement will come in. I think you'll get what you need. Um, I do see that you know, you're going to be able to give birth to your dreams again. Money is going to improve here. You're going to be working out. Stop worrying about it. There may be a new love coming in or, <clears throat> you you know, for some of you, I do see the lovers coming in and dealing with another person uh, on, a, on a wonderful, close, intimate level. Let's see what we've got here for, oh, beautiful, for our Ascended Masters. You've got the power of joy, and joy is one of the best cards you can get uh, in this deck. And it's staying positive and filling yourself with faith and manifesting your sights on into reality, your desires into reality. And I said that. So you know what? You're working on that. You've got the sun energy again. You've got the power of joy. Things are going to work out for some of you. So stop worrying and losing your sleep about. I want you to find the humor in this situation uh, that you've had to deal with, that you found challenging. I'm sure that at the end of the day when this works out for you, you're going to smile again and you're going to feel better. So to find your life's purpose, do what brings you joy. That's what this is about. This is all about what brings you joy. And, you know, and the joy that you're, you feel within relationships keep, keep, keeps them alive, exciting and growing. We talked about that here, you know, when we're dealing with someone else on an intimate level. All of our emotions, joy has the highest vibration here, okay? 
Joy is the power to remove all obstacles and attract all your needs. So joy reminds us that we needn't suffer at all. We can fulfill our purpose and help ourselves and others and heal through the power of joy. Beautiful. Okay, you've got boundaries with the Empress, the, the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. I always think it's an empress because I see this crown. Love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your, uh, no to others and the demands on your time and your energy. So, you know, basically this is knowing that you don't have to be there every minute of the day for everybody out there. So, you know, you may be giving too much of yourself. I want you to become more assertive and don't do things out of guilt or obligations, okay? So, you know what? It's okay to say no. And, you know what? <clears throat> It's only going to make you feel better because what's going to happen is you're going to come to resent the time they're taking away from things that you need to do. And you don't want that to happen and put a wedge between you. So you need to keep yourself healthy and that's setting out healthy boundaries. Being able to say no without guilt and uh, without obligation. Well, my beautiful Capricorns, my achievers, my very, very creative uh, sign, I wish you a great remainder today and this beautiful week here that is unfolding for you to look at. So, you know, you're going to be able to see the sunshine again and give birth to your dreams. Some of you are in a beautiful, beautiful love relationship. Money's coming into some of you. Stop worrying. You've dealt with those challenges. The sun's going to shine. You're going to find security within your home again. Some of you may be buying a home or new, moving to a new one. The only one here I say is I think this is the energy that you've been dealing with. This is why you're moving on in a new direction and you've built up your strength to do that. You, you're going to see joy again and setting up boundaries uh, and is a good thing for you to do right now. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed, Capricorn, and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it, my dear ones, and move forward. Trust your goals and happiness. Okay? Trust your goals and happiness. It's all about moving on and making yourself happy here. And that's what I see in this reading. I'll see you soon and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you.